Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, Talking Geek and Supplement. So this video is a follow-up from my one I did yesterday. Uh, I did unboxing of the Red Magic 8 Pro. So this one's a, after 24 hours, I've been with this phone for over 24 hours, and it's my thoughts really. So following it, it's not a review, it's just my, yeah, just things I do normally. And the first question is, a lot of people ask me is, why gaming phone? And I don't even play games on the phone. I'm a big gamer, if you watch my videos, you know I'm a big gamer. I play games on PC and consoles. I don't really play games on uh, on phone because it's not my style of gaming. I'm into long JRPG action adventure. I can really sink my teeth in, spend 100 hours, you know, just sit on a nice comfy sofa with a cup of tea in hand, ready to play. So why gaming from? Uh, a few reasons why. I like the designs. I mentioned that in a previous video. Especially this one, this design caught my attention. I've been meaning to buy or look into buying a uh, Red Magic since the Red Magic uh, 5. But I always end up getting a Asus uh, ROG. So I got the ROG 3. Reason was because I thought the ROG designed a little bit better and the OS, because after so many reviews, the ROG phone's uh, OS was more vanilla, uh, more customizable, and so on. And then the Red Magic 6 come out was pretty good, 7, and I, end, I still end up getting an ROG 5. But now the 8's out, the design has changed, and it's flipped it as well, because during the uh, Red Magic 5, 6, and 7, if I was buying at that time, I was going to go for the transparent version. But this time with the 8, I actually think the base version looks better um, because the matte black with like a subtle lights in the background, which I'll show you in the video later on. And it's actually a pretty decent price. Uh, it was It's £579 on the official website. I was one of those few uh, early adopters where I purchased a pound and I got a £30 voucher. So I ended up getting it for £550. Considering the specs on this, it's uh, Snapdragon... Well, it's a Snapdragon Gen 2, so it's the latest and greatest from Snapdragon. 6.8-inch uh, screen. A lot of people say it's pretty heavy, but the phones I've had, which you see in the video, it's pretty standard for me. <coughs> Pardon me. It's got good screen, 120Hz display. It's got a built-in fan for gaming. Not that I notice it because I don't play games on it. I keep on saying that. Yeah, it's got the, uh, and um, yeah, I'll talk about it later on because I actually overcome, because in some of the reviews I uh, looked on YouTube, they're saying that you couldn't put a launcher. I actually did, so I will show you how it's been, how it's done. So my mod is a hundred, uh, it was a 12 gigabytes of RAM and two, five, six gig uh, storage. Yeah, it does all that. Anyway, moving on. So you can see here, um, just going through what it looks like. As you can see, I think that the back looks so awesome. It's really, really subtle. Oh, and it's got a uh, headphone jack as well. A lot of um, modern phones don't have that. I just love the square design. It's got dual speakers. You can see the ventilation just there. It's got an always on screen uh, display. 6.1 inch edge to edge. I've never been a big fan of like hole punch or, um, or um, what do you call it, a notch from Apple. Yeah, I was going to say how I um, got uh, Windows, not Windows, sorry, I was going to say Windows Launcher. No, is I used Nova Launcher. When I first got it, I kept on putting a Nova Launcher on. And you can see here how I overcome it. <clears throat> what I did was I installed this um, Oxygen HD app on my phone. And I enabled that because I always preferred the uh, OnePlus kind of icons, the designs. Once I enabled that, the launcher stayed put because before that what i did every time I put a novel launcher and i go back home you go back to the normal uh red magic standard um launcher you kept on doing that so many times until i enabled the oxygen hd app and then it stayed put so for people out there who wants to change to novel launcher bear in mind i haven't tested with other launches because i only use uh Novel launch. I like the, the simplicity of it. I don't want it to have multiple screens, just uh, app draw and so on. So, yeah, that's how I got the novel launchers to stay put. 
So definitely, so just to recap, I put Nova Launcher on, it kept on going back to the Red Magic Launcher, but only when I put on uh, enabled the o Oxygen OX, Oxygen HT app in just to get the kind of like the applications, the icons looking like uh, OnePlus. That's how I got it to stay put. Now, gaming mode, <clears throat> I just switched this on because I feel it looks pretty cool and it sounds pretty cool. So check out the sound in that. Yeah, that was pretty good sounding. I mean, I'll probably show that to a friend just to scare them. It does sound pretty loud. Moving on. Talking about sound. Um, so this is one of my YouTube videos with one of my favorite uh, music that um, I apologize to the person who did music. I used that music for a couple of my videos in the past. And this is a video that I, I did a few uh, year and a half ago. So this is the, uh, uh, I'm going to pair it, compare it to ROG 5 with the Red Magic. So this is the Red Magic, so check out the sound. So let's compare it to the ROG5. There you go. What do you think? The comparisons? I think, oh, that's a good one. I think all for the Red Magic sounds a little bit better. A bit more kind of more open, more clear, I would say. But it is a newer phone. Oh, by the way, I'm actually using uh, my OnePlus 9 to film the footages, just let everyone know. So that's the sound test. Really good phones. Like I said, one of the reasons why I got a um, gaming phone, because of the sound. And now, I just want to show something cool. In the back is the the lighting and how subtle is it? I just like the the matte black with the you'll see for yourself. Check this out. That is so cool. Look at that. I like the very flashing, very subtle. It's not too in your face like the previous model. That's why I think this contrast is so good, the matte black. And uh, it's not fingerprint, man. It's you know, it's kind of almost. You can see fingerprints is almost like from the heat of your hands, easy to wipe. And yeah, this is some of the thing you can do with it: flash, and there are color options in the back there. Flashing, you've got other like kind of almost organic kind of rising and changing colors. As you can see, there's a kind of like a rainbow color you can add, which I use for my charging and my notifications. Pretty cool. So you see all the options down there. And I showed you earlier on, you see that? The fingerprint scanner is pretty fast as well. Yeah, looks really cool. Like I mentioned earlier, nice and subtle design, which I think this really complements it. 
So now listen, I went this morning to the park about, this is about 11, 30, 11, 40 in the morning. It was a pretty sunny day, a bit of mist, a little bit of mist here and there. So it's about 11, 40 here. Uh, this is the, the, I was just walking with the image stabilizer. See what you think. Yeah, I think it does a pretty good deal. Pretty good job. I mean, a lot of reviews did say that this camera setup is not bad. It's not the best. I think that's one of the big sacrifices if you go for a gaming phone. You you have so much power. You know, you've got a headphone jack to sound, but the sacrifice is, is with the, the camera. There you go. But this camera isn't so bad. Moving on. So let's take some pictures and talk about the camera. This is the main camera. I use my main camera as a 16 by 9 ratio. And this is the park from well, I won't tell you where it's anybody who lives in London will probably know this park because this Chinese big is pretty iconic in this park. So this is a standard 16 by 9 main main camera, 50 megs. I think it's a Samsung sensor. And so not bad, nice weather, you know, the lighting is pretty cool. And then this is a ultra white. You can see the colors start to kind of kind of dim a little bit, almost took out the sunlight almost. So you can see the bit of blurry, so the ultra, the ultra wide, this thing's only eight meg, eight meg pixel is not the best, as you can see here. And then I'm gonna move over to, this is a two times zoom. So it maintains some quality, and uh, so it's not the best. And then I'm gonna move up to times three, and then it starts to lose. You can see a lot of um, blurriness and noise. But then, yeah, to overall, I think the main camera is all right. As you can see, I took some random pictures around with main cameras. I even took this picture here. We can see the sunlight was directly at me. You can see this little hue on the left side. So overall, I think the main camera is actually pretty good for this phone. I mean, of course, there's plenty of amazing good ones from Samsung, um, Apple phones. But as in saying that, you are paying in the over the thousand pounds. That's one of the drawbacks with gaming phones is the camera. But as in saying that, I think the, the main camera is actually pretty decent. As you can see, it captures a pretty good uh, detailed, everything like that. Here's some more main cameras. And yeah, so it captures it pretty well. <clears throat> so here's what I took pictures of in my bedroom. So as you can see, you're starting from the left, Mr. Toad, I took the picture in my room with the lights on and then the one next to it, Mr. Toad with the lights off. Bear in mind my room wasn't, wasn't pitch black, it was dark but it wasn't pitch black but it still captured some detail and then the third one you can see Mr. Toad then the flash on you can see it kind of oversaturates a little bit and then last on the right hand side is Mr. Toad when I put the night mode on. So overall the main camera ain't so bad, night mode is okay. Uh, the flash may be oversaturated, overexposed a little bit. There you have it. That's the camera, which I think is not bad. And here's me, <laughs> uh, selfie. Uh, of course, the selfie isn't the best because of um, the selfie camera is under the display. So you, I was, I wore, I deliberately wore a yellow. You know what? I let myself explain it to you. Hey all. Uh, yeah, so I'm wearing glasses and a mask and covering myself in a yellow hoodie Charlie Brown or peanuts. I bought this hoodie in Japan. Pretty cool. I don't like showing my face That's why I'm covering it up. Oh, it looks pretty cool like Viva Vendetta. So I'm filming with a front-facing camera um, Yeah, what is yellow because uh, to really showcase how it really is very glowy You know, you can it's almost like a layer of mist you know, the camera is under the hood, that's the reason why it's got this kind of glow and kind of foggy feel to it. What do you guys think? Yeah, what do you guys think? As you can see, um, you have anything like yellow, like bright colours, it really kind of enhances that. I mean, this ain't this is a second generation, I think, um, under the display camera. It's going to get better. I think it's a, lot, it's a lot better than first generation. But I don't use selfie cameras. I don't like taking pictures of myself, so it doesn't bother me. To be honest, I don't really use much of the cameras like my macro. Um, I don't even bother. I don't, I've never used it. I don't bother. I don't really use zoom much. I don't even use ultra wide. To me, I just take pictures in 16 by 9 main camera, and that's it really. So that's what I use it for. So overall, like I said, the camera display, it's good. 
definitely not as good as the, the, the flagship, but like I said, you are paying almost half price for it. Overall, I do like the phone. Um, like I mentioned, I don't play games, so I couldn't really tell you how good it is. I might play a couple of games. Like I said, I, I'm into my JRPGs, long action RPG games that spend hundreds of hours, so I like to be comfortable. Uh, yeah, this the reason why I got this one because of the amazing design. It's, uh, it kind of reminds me of a few years ago when the Razer, Razer Edge did that kind of square phone. I think this one has that kind of, oh, I saw it and I wanted it, <laughs> you know. So yeah, overall it was a great phone. I, um, could be better because of the camera, but if, if the cameras were good, you could, you know, instead of paying five hundred and fifty pounds or what, I'd be paying a thousand plus, wouldn't I? So definitely, and he's got the power. He's got as a, a, a Snapdragon eight Gen two, twelve gigabytes of RAM and two five six storage. There's one thing that I need to test as well. I didn't have the cable time of recording. I've seen YouTube videos you can plug in a uh, docking station from your USB. He has the latest USB connection. You can actually connect it to a monitor, almost usually like an external uh, external mini PC. So that is something I need to test. Uh, I need to get a cable and adapter ready for that. But overall, I'd like to say thank you. And I do recommend this if you get a chance. Uh, you need a phone and you're not too fussed about amazing camera quality. You know, as long as you've got um, the basic, you know, because I still think the main camera is actually pretty decent for what it's worth. But you want a gaming phone, like I said, I can't give you my personal verdict, but there's plenty of YouTube channels out who said that this is one of the best gaming experience on the market at the moment. Powerful, it just looks so slick. It's probably the best designed phone on the market now. And yeah, so a thumbs up for me. So anyway, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more Talking Kiki stuff. Until next time. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whatever you are in the world, and please stay safe. Goodbye.